Hi, in this episode of Confluence series, we are going to talk about spaces and pages and how to create them. Spaces are containers for organizing content like folders, while pages are individual documents. Consider spaces to be like folders on your desktop and pages to be files under the folders. So let's go ahead and create a space first and then we are going to create some pages under the space. To create a space, we will use the plus create button at the top panel of Confluence. You click on plus create and use the space option. You would be able to see the create new space dialog box. So in this, you can go ahead and give the name of the space. And you can choose an icon for your space. You can also choose the purpose for the space. For example, it can either be collaboration, knowledge base or custom. If you select collaboration, you could at the right hand side be able to see what kind of content or predefined templates the Confluence is going to give you for this particular space. Here, for this collaboration, it gives you ideas, brainstorm, research, team goals kind of predefined templates. If you go to knowledge base, you should be able to see something like time off and leave, legal and identity protection, employee recognition, work life balance kind of templates predefined in your space. If you go with custom, you can go ahead and create some custom custom pages or build your own templates under this space. For now, I'm going to create the collaboration space and you could go ahead and select permissions, which includes only visible to me, which is going to be pretty private and you can use the default permissions or you can go ahead and select copy permissions from another space. For this example, I'm going to use default permissions. The next thing that you're going to do is customize your space key. Space key is a unique identity for each of your space. So you can go ahead and say TP, which is given by default from the first letters of each of these words, which is team and product TP, or you can go ahead and customize your own one, TP123. However, any kind of special characters are not allowed in a space key. Okay, if you see, it is now throwing an error for you. So you can use numbers and letters, however, any special characters aren't allowed. Once you go ahead and set up all of these details, like the name of the space, what is the purpose of the space, permissions and the space key, you can go ahead and click on next option. Here, you would be asked to go ahead and select any additional features that you would need. For example, if I go ahead and say, I do not need calendars, it would be automatically removed from here. If I say, yes, if I say blogs, it is being added over here, right? So this is how you can customize any kind of additional features that you need on your Confluence space. So once it is done, I could go ahead and say, create space. Well, after that, you'd be able to see the main page of the space. You could see the team product, some description, project tracker, recently updated content and contributors. Let's go ahead and understand the left hand side panel of the space. Under the space, you should be able to see all the content uh, which is available for us predefined by Confluence. For example, you have the project plan template, you have the decision document template, you have the meeting notes template and it also says add your first whiteboard, add your first database or your first page. So now let us go ahead and create a page under the space team product. So you can go ahead and use the plus icon against the content option to create a page. So you could say plus which is create page and you should be able to see a page pop up here. You could go ahead and give a name to the page, which is the title of the page. I would say product 101 for now. And you could go ahead and add any additional information over here. It could be some kind of documentation that you would like to present to your team, or you could, it could use any other templates also. For example, Confluence 
by default gives you a panel over here that has some of the templates that you can quickly pick and use. For example, it says product requirements, strategic plan, or a table of contents gadget, info panels, tables, or product roadmap. For now, for this example, I'm going to use product requirements template, right? Once this is all added, I can go ahead and say publish. Once it is published, you should be able to see the page under the space over here. You could see product 101. Now, now if I would like to create a sub page under product 101, I would go ahead, I would select the page product 101 and click on the plus icon against it. So this would go ahead and create a sub page under product 101. Say page. And click on publish. If I want to create another page under product 101, then I have to click on product 101 and then go ahead and create a page. So I could again say create. And publish. This means that we have created two sub pages under the main page, which is product 101. Now, if I would like to create a sub page under product 101.1, then I would select that particular page and click on the plus icon that is a create option against that page. So I'll say plus and I click on. And I will say publish. Now, if you see, we have a sub page for this particular page, which is product 101.1. If I would like to create a sub page for test page, then I would stay on the test page and click on the plus option. And that would allow you to create a sub page for it. So this is how you can go ahead and create a hierarchy of pages by just staying on that particular page and clicking on the plus icon that is nothing but the create option. If you see here, if I now go ahead and click on the arrow marks, I will be able to see all the hierarchy of pages under this main page product 101. Now, if I would like to create a main page again under the team product space, then I would go to, I would select the team product space and then go to the content option and click on create. Or other than this, I could go ahead and say plus create page and that would again create a page for us. This is how you can create your spaces and pages under the confluence. Do like, share and subscribe to my channel. I'll be posting more videos about how to use spaces and pages effectively. Thank you and have a nice day.